Hey there guys, Kason41 here. What is going on? Um So I noticed in my last videos I just stopped recording and uploaded them all. Uh that uh my my resolution was kinda terrible. Um I didn't realize how big of a hit YouTube was gonna take off of this new recording software I use. Um like the raw files that I have look kinda nice. And um I don't edit. I just I straight uploaded the raw files, but YouTube downplayed it to like three sixty 360p or 480p and uh, it looks pretty bad so I doubled my bitrate um, in hopes that it would at least hit you know like 720 resolution ish and uh, change some other things too so hopefully these are these are better I should have I, I'm better than those mistakes it's my problem but uh back to RimWorld we got um, our turret back up here which is important we're gonna start hauling things, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do here, because we were kind of we're kind of in a problem situation right now. Whew. Okay, I'm getting all readjusted because I got out of my seat a little while ago. Um, bulk goods trader. That's not something we're really gonna mess with right now. Um, our little area down here is still coming along. Not very fast, but it's still coming along. So we'll see. Once everything gets going, and uh, then we'll choose who we're gonna shove in the cryo pod, <laughs> and uh, see how they like that. Cause we definitely at least want one person hidden away. Um, that guy is dead now. Probably shouldn't have harvested both of his kidneys, but uh, I mean, what are you gonna do? The guy killed two of my people. I'm harvesting your kidneys. Tit for tat, man. It's like, it says it right in the Bible. <laughs> nah, it'd be funny though. I'm so surprised how much that's worth though. Like, that literally floored me. I never forgot how much that was worth. Um, I'm not sure if I should be keeping my kidneys in there because they don't seem like they spoil, it just seems like they have health. So, um, I think what I'm actually going to do is just make make a little zone. Probably just allow them in here, I guess. Um, it's not probably a bad idea. And we'll just disable them here. Alright. And uh, we'll get nutrient just because that's a thing still. And uh, we'll start. Yeah, we cremated his body. So, you know, we should be moving along. Got a pretty good clip right now. That thing's gonna spoil really soon. Attackers, huh? Molotovs, a shotgun, and a knife. Okay, that's fine. Um, what are they doing? Oh, you guys are dicks. That made me a little mad, actually. I mean, yeah. They're gonna start fires, that's kind of their thing. The Molotovs do. It's very annoying. So get some of our guys out there. Because they're gonna destroy everything soon. Yup. And that's on fire, and that's a wooden place. And that guy should be on his way somewhere. Yeah, he's on his way up there. Hopefully we can take him out before he does anything dumb. Ah, oh, come on. That is twice that that thing has been destroyed now. I'm so mad about that. I'm harvesting your organs. 
You have made me angry. Uh I'm so tired of losing these friggin' turrets. It's very annoying. Make them out of uranium. It's a lot of uranium. But they're probably way, way, way more powerful if you make them out of uranium. So. But there's also a fire down here which got put out. So, I mean, at least something good came of it, I guess. I suppose. This guy has a vest and stuff, so. We'll go ahead and strip him, and you have a vest, so you don't need that. Who doesn't have a vest? Snotface, do you not have a vest? You have a vest. You don't. Go wear the vest. We'll just, we'll get this stuff going here. Because this should be fixed by now, or if that's, hopefully that's what he's going to do. Okay, yeah, so everything down there is fixed. So we have a little bit of uranium now. Getting ourselves some steel. Some cargo pods, what's going on? Some sin thread, huh? That's all that dropped. Okay. Spacer tech. Ordinary clothes. Soft, light, strong, insulates well. Cool, so that's nice. We'll definitely get that inside as as soon as possible, I think. Prioritize hauling it. Um, for this guy, we don't have the best chance in the world of recruiting him, so I guess we'll just, we're going to harvest his organs. Um, let's harvest your kidney, and then we'll harvest your heart, I think is a good idea. As long as he doesn't die from the first kidney extraction, which he didn't. So... So at least we won't have that issue. We should be able to get his heart now. Which is perfect. Now we have both. Yeah, now we just have people hauling stuff left and right. It's kind of becoming issues though. We don't have enough people to do stuff. Which is a serious problem. Yeah, this is becoming a serious problem. <sighs> if we could get, um... If we could get some people, that would be great. Because we still we need a couple more people. At least two, I think would be an appropriate amount. Um, we'll prioritize cremation. Get both of these people gone. Oh, we don't have anybody who's like cleaning specifically. Oh yeah, we do. That's kind of what he does. Okay, that's good. Kind of wondering if we can manage to recruit somebody or something. We need people. Okay, we do have a pirate merchant passing by. So we can sell these and maybe buy somebody? No, we can't. Hmm. So we can get ourselves a good chunk of silver. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, we're just gonna have to uh, deal with that. Earn ourselves a little bit of money there. I was really, really hoping that uh, there was gonna be a guy in there for us, but uh. I guess not. I guess it's not in our cards. 
So we'll start loading up stuff here. Let's see if we can just make it work with these couple of people that we have. And those people just pass through. Hmm. Okay, so a good bit of our time is being spent trying to walk around. So I think a good idea would be something like making some tile. I don't really want to use steel. I don't want to use wood either. Hmm. We do have a good chunk of marble. So we'll see if that helps us out at all. I mean, I know it's not going to really work through here, but... Okay, perfect. Escape pod. How useful are you? Because if you're crappy, even if I need people, I don't want you. Okay, you're awesome, actually. You can't do dumb labor, which sucks. But, uh... Oh, God. A local squirrel, I guess. It's going to go get shot, like, immediately, so... No big deal. Um, we'll send Snot Face out to get her in a second. Okay. Go ahead and rescue her. Um, actually, we might as well capture. Now we'll rescue her so she can get better medical treatment initially. And then we will, uh, recruit her forcefully. Very, very forcefully. <laughs> you have your meal. Give her a meal. And now, uh, yeah, treat her. She's cataracts. So she's not going to be much of a fighter, that's for sure. But we'll, uh, we'll arrest her. It's not going to be that hard to recruit, so um, she should be a good, well, I won't say a good person to have, but a good replacement, I guess, um, or start to replacement. As long as, I mean, she's incapable of dumb labor, so that's a problem, but she won't be able to carry around stuff. Yeah. I would have preferred somebody who can do that, but oh well, what are you going to do, you know? He's a little bit silver, he has a gun. I mean, I don't really want any of those people. Yeah, we just, we really need people who can haul stuff. Would be the ideal thing. Leaving, we have a 34% chance. Eh. That's a really good chance to recruit her, actually, so. It shouldn't take too long before we have her on our side. Okay, the turrets down there are built, so we just have to get this generator going. She's pretty happy, so. The 
I'll take our nap, see if we can recruit her in the morning. Good luck. Yeah! Um, I thought she was incapable of dumb labor. Oh, she is. I guess mining doesn't count as dumb labor. Uh. Okay, so we really need like another botanist. You can go grow it, but you won't cut it. That's dumb. Okay, we really want you to mine whenever I tell you to mine. Make sure we right on that. Hunting, eh. Eh, if I tell you to hunt, I want you to hunt, like, now. Patient, you're not a very good doctor, but you're not the worst we have. Warden, cooking, you can can cook, but eh. So we'll, we'll make your priorities kind of skewed to, uh, doing a lot of stuff for us now. Yeah, it'll be nice to have you, but... You'll take the load off the other people from doing certain things, but you ain't gonna help haul crap, which is annoying to say the least, so... I mean, another person's another person, but... At the same time, sometimes it's really not that helpful. I mean, I don't want to say she's not helpful because she's going to be... by uh, hauling these things, but... she's not that helpful because she can't haul things. But I guess she's it's oh wow there's more deer there than ever. Um yeah. So her not being able to haul things is kinda gonna put it um a big problem for us. But at the same time, she will plant stuff, so if we have other people cut them, um from what I was understanding, yeah she she won't cut them, but she will plant them, so and she'll harvest. So there's that. So she'll help harvest. Which is good. She just won't cut down trees, I guess, so. Oh well, not much you can do about that, you know. She gets her own bed. So I'm up to five people again. Now she needs some kind of weapon. Um. You should go get, um, the pistol. Oh, she's a brawler. So she doesn't want that, huh? No, she can't shoot for shit, so... Go get the uranium shiv. suppose that'll work. I mean, as long as she has that shiv, I think she'll be pretty happy, so. Wow, those are big fires. But the rain should be putting it all out, so, or at least some of it. But not enough. I guess those people are gonna go firefight? No, they're not. They don't care. Great. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to reach anything of importance, so... Yeah, it's not near my house areas, and if it gets big enough, I guess, um... That stuff will kick on, so... No big deal. No big deal. I think what I'm going to do is uh, clear this area of home. No. Clear. Removes a no roof area. Roofs will generate here. Expand no roof area. Create an area where roofs will not generate. Oh my god! Okay. So, I could actually of um, had solar panels inside um, a wall. That's frustrating. Oh, I didn't know that. And have crops inside. Oh, okay. So that a change that changes my whole life right there.
whole life. <sighs> it sucks. I wish I would have known that. Because I would have had fenced in farms and stuff like that. But you live, you learn. And, um. Seriously? Oh, that's fine. You live, you learn, and you, uh. Oh my god! Screw you, Randy Random. I mean, it didn't blow up any of my stuff, so. I'm fine with that. If all I have to do is repair, that's cool. But yeah, I wish I would have known that. I could move my solar generators, but at the same time, I don't want to. <laughs> I gotta put these farms inside, but... So I guess it is entirely possible to just have your people live inside, and only live inside. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We have struck compacted plastic. Plasteel, okay. Which is there, which is really nice. Plasteel's way nicer than, uh... than, um, like, steel and stuff like that. So we'll sell this personal shield because we're not going to use it. Actually, we might use that. Let me keep that one. We'll sell this because we're not going to use it. Not going to use it. Mining Neuro Trainer. Interesting. Yeah, Persona Core. Power Claw. Liver. Bionic Leg. Bionic Eye. Huh. Uh, that's like a supernatural vision ability. See, I could get that and put it in that girl's eye. Um, that's a lot of money on a new person. Hmm. Even though there is an old transmitter running somewhat, something at least marginally interesting. Ah, yeah, cool. So I could get them a TV, and they would probably love that. Uh. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm just gonna take my silver. And, uh, be happy with that. So what's going on down here? Nothing built yet? Okay. Take that down, just so we can, uh... Um, use it for later. And now, not that I'm gonna do it right now, I'm just gonna see if I can make them sleep. Yeah, and our cryo sleep. So we we can make them cryo sleep if we want to. Which is good. So my idea is totally valuable. I mean, viable. So there's a deer that's pretty upset about life. I guess he's gonna charge the turrets. Oh, now he's gonna charge somebody. Who's he charging? Um, yeah, you should probably move a little bit quicker. Okay, so he's just getting bruised. He's not really taking any serious damage. So let's um have you run away. God damn it. Warrens, I need you to go stab this deer in the face. Or I could just have Aaron shoot. Either or.
There we go. She got to have her stabby playtime, and yeah. She just had fun. That's just good. But yeah, she's actually kind of useful because she's um, helping do that. Now, Snotface should be treating him. Okay. Good. He doesn't. He's not really that messed up, so he's got bruised a lot. No big deal. Um, so we'll get him down here. What's he doing? Is he going to finish this this run or next run? Next run. And then that'll be all set up, and we can lock this door and uh, throw somebody in cry to sleep down there. Actually, probably want to store uh, food in here first, at least a little bit. Okay, yeah. So he's going to go build it, or at least get it ready to be built. Which is perfect. So, let's get, um... Let's get things moving here. Let's make sure, um, the reason they're not... Okay, they're not. Um... Let's, uh, do some storage here. We'll clear it all. We'll just say, um... Some meals. And, um... Oh, I don't know how high I want to stock that. Uh, I don't know. Alright, we're all done researching stuff, so we don't need these anymore. Uh, so we can remove that. It needs the extra space for more useful things like another cook stove or something. Maybe a maybe we'll go to Smith table here. Get stuff moving. But yeah, that should be generating battery power and then some, so... Yeah, at least there's that going, which is good. So it seems to happen often, so I'm not quite sure if rain's actually causing that or not. I mean, if the electric furnace does it too immediately, I'm going to assume it's rain, but... At the same time, that's, that's actually not that big of a deal whenever it has a little electrical short, so... It's <sighs> good soda. Alright. Let's focus on the potato harvest here. Hopefully, cooking these meals. Now, one of the things I'm going to want to do is probably prioritize the meals down here. Maybe I'll just keep it this way. I think we'll have him drag some meals down there right now. Maybe I'll just prioritize it twice or something like that. Nah, I think I'm okay. Well, it depends. What are they doing? Cleaning dirt. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it at normal. I mean, the odds of them actually eating all my food are, are pretty low. So who am I gonna put in cryo sleep? Hmm. I think I might buy somebody for that. Or I could put her in. Oh yeah, but she won't haul anything. Alright, so I'm gonna have to like buy somebody to put in cryo sleep. 
or something because there's no way that's happening otherwise, so. But this is indeed a viable, hey, we have a we have a problem kind of area, which is good. Which is very, very good. Okay. I think we'll just tell him cook simple meals forever until I decide to suspend it. Um, just because I don't see any reason to uh, not haul that pistol, damn it. Oh, this is such a problem whenever this happens. Everybody's already on their way. Okay, good. Ah, oh, this sucks so bad whenever this happens. Cause like we can't put it out, it's too much and it burns half of my wire. And we put most of it out. That's yeah, not bad. Actually. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean we put out most of it. Oh, she's on fire. God damn it. It's so frustrating though. So because this is still like a home area. So I think what I'm gonna do is like this is not a home area. Just so my people don't keep fighting fires there. Because that's not really my problem. And I don't want somebody catching on fire because of that. So. Yeah, all that stuff needs to really come inside soon. But everybody's comfortable in their nice little cooled areas, so. I mean, how upset can you really be? All right. Okay, we do have a good bit of stuff here. So, oh, cargo pods. Human meat. Um. Some people do have issues eating that, so I'm not gonna toy around with it. I'm actually not gonna pick that up. I'm just gonna let it rot because that's not okay with... I mean, there comes a time and a place, and this is not the time or the place. We have plenty of food, and I don't want to eat humans. Uh, just as a moral issue. I mean, if, I, if it ever came down to it, I might, you know, but not now. It's not, it's not required. <laughs> hmm. So what I think I'm going to do with it, is I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to like, put all this in, side. But, uh, for now, uh, let's go, where's the turret, about there, so, about something like that, and then we're gonna zone it as, um, no roof area. Right there. Um, yeah, and we'll roof that in. I do have plans for all this. Um, I'm just not going to share it right now because it's a secret. Uh, 
we'll have some granite doors here. Somewhere like that. It'll cut down our trip too, our trip time, going through that door. Rather than them going the whole way around, you know? This does give them a nice little corner to hide at though, but uh, I'm gonna fix that. There we go. Yeah, we'll um, flop up some uh, security at the corners because we'll keep it all nice and symmetrical as well because I don't like um, giving them areas to hide like that. Oh. My bad. Yeah, I mean, so that should give us some pretty good coverage. Oh, okay. So this Devil Strand's almost done. Which is ridiculous in my opinion, the fact that it takes that long. But oh well. We'll get this all built. I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do with this area in the next episode. See you guys next time.